All right, everyone. Hello, hello. I uh, hope today's treating you well. Today in our uh, statistics conversation, we're going to be uh, discussing grouping numbers and sectionalizing numbers into an organized way into quarters, really, into, into four sections, into kind of splitting them up into, into groups that we can work with and look at. So here we go. Get out of the way. Let's say you've got yourself a, a list of numbers. Let's say you've got that uh, people uh, went and gave you their height. And the heights that, that we were given were uh, 70, 79, 60, 72, 73, 70, 68, 69, 73, and 73. So let's say you got people's heights, and, and there they are. Today, what we're going to be looking at is what's the what's the maximum value, and what's the what's the minimum value. And yes, those are going to be easy to be as easy to find as you think they are. Um, it's just the biggest number and the smallest number. And then there's these other. We talked about the median before. The median is called the Q2 or the second quartile. Because there's a first quartile, it's just like you think of school. Quarters one, quarter two, quarter three, and then uh, I've written these backwards because the maximum is the highest. Quarter three is that like quarter three in a school, it's the biggest, and quarter one, there we go, is the lowest, and the minimum is when we start. Well, to find these values, we first of all have to put these numbers in order. So you take these numbers and uh, the smallest number that I see is 68. So we write that one. Then I see a couple of 69s. And then we've got 70s, two of them. And then we've got 72. And then there's these four. One, two, three, four of 70. And finally, a 79. So we put the data in order. What's the maximum? Well, that's up here. We've got 79. What's the minimum? What's the smallest? That's 68. Now, we learned how to find the median before. So we come over here and we find the median. Let's see, it's not that, that, or that, 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 or that. And counting in until I find the middle number. Not 70 or 73, not 70 or 73. Oh, here we go. If I did this right, 72 is the median. That's the middle number. So there's the middle number. It's the Q2, it's the median. We've got it. Now the Q1, this lower part, is the next middle. So it's like the middle of the bottom. And then this one's going to be the middle of the top numbers is Q3. So we found the middle. Now we find the middle of these numbers right here, not including the median. So right here I've got 69. So that is Q1. And then up here I do the same thing over here. In this section, what's the middle number of the upper section? We've got... Uh, 73. So 73, the upper quartile. And now I found my maximum, my minimum, the one in the very middle, and then the middle of the upper half and the middle of the lower half. I've split it into four sections. We've got one, two, three, and four sections. And it kind of helps us see what the grouping is when we see the numbers split up and four different quartiles we call them. These are called quartiles because we split it up into fourths. Now, there's two more numbers we need to do. And uh, the, the first one, we'll talk about the range. Um, to find the range, what the range is, that's just the maximum minus the minimum. How far apart, how widely distributed are these numbers? Well, you take 79 minus 68, 
and your calculator will give you the answer. The range of these numbers is 11. It goes from 68 to 79, the range is 11 numbers. Doesn't matter how many are in between, it's just from the biggest to the smallest. And then there's this other number we have called the interquartile range. What is the range of these two inner quartiles, of these middle quartiles, Q1 and Q3? So we just take, just like the range where we subtract, this time we're going to subtract the Q3 from the Q1. Well, Q3 minus Q1. So that would be 73 minus 69, which is on this one, the inner quartile range is four. It's four. You'll see this written as the I, Q, R, the interquartile range, I, Q, R. I, Q, R. And there you go. That's how you find these numbers, the maximum, the minimum, these, in, these quartiles we call them, and then ranges is where you, what's the range of something? You know, you, you subtract the, the greatest, take the greatest and subtract the smallest. Smallest. There you have it. That's all I've got. I'm just kind of stalling right now. I guess wasting time to see if I can get to seven minutes, but I uh, I don't want to. Have a great day. Hope this uh, hope this helped.